Hi, I'm Ellie Miriam, and I'm the Closet Quilter. In this next video, I've been working on lighting and making it easier for you to see what I'm doing. Um, I have a pretty good setup in the closet, and I hope you enjoy this video. It's a short video on how I tack down the sides of the quilt, and I'm using my uh, Viva Lux light on the side of my machine to kind of accentuate, but then I brought down the house lights in the room so that you could better see. Uh, otherwise, I get a really strong glare by using lighting. So I hope this works for you. Let me know. Leave a comment and let me know if this is a better way so you can see what I'm doing on the cutie frame. Thanks for stopping by the Closet Quilter. Okay, the trick is to make sure that this is eased in as I go down. Okay, the top is tacked down. So I'm gonna go here, I'm, I'm at the edge of the seam of this. This is a, uh, this is a uh, sheet I'm using. So I have to quilt or stitch. I'm gonna tack it down just this side of the seam. Okay, and that's the bobbin thread. And I brought down the lights a little so you can see this better. Hopefully you'll be able to see my fingers as I as I ease this, okay? Now I'm being very careful not to get my fingers in there because it's on uh, regulated precise now. So I'm gonna start going slow, holding it all along the way, easing it as I go to keep it from wrinkles. And then I'm going as far as I can go on here. Okay, that's as far as I can go. Now, I'm going to bring up my bobbin thread. Let's see here. I'm going to bring up my bobbin thread here. First, I'm going to bring it out to kind of move the bobbin thread so there's some bobbin thread to bring up. And I'm going to go back. And I'm going to hit the, the pickup again, and that's going to bring up the bobbin threads right there. Now, because it's been knotted, I've gone down a couple times, I'll be able to, to um, clip this bobbin thread and it won't unravel and it won't follow me. So I'm not going to have any strings to cut on the back. Okay, I hope that explains that. Now. I can um, go to the other side and and tack it down. But in the meantime, I can baste here in this area. Since this is all tacked down, I can baste. So let's do that. Let's put it on basting. Okay, let's bring up the bobbin thread. Okay, get that bobbin thread. Okay, now I can baste. I guess you always have to bring up the bobbin thread. And what I found out is you have to hold the threads at first because they will pull out. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll bring up the bobbin thread. Okay. Bringing that up. Okay. I'm gonna hold on to these threads for a while. Let's baste. Okay. Now it's pulling, but I'm not letting it pull. I'm basting. Now I'm going to go down. Holding the threads down and making sure that it's not puckering. Okay, that's good. That's basted right here. No puckers. That's good. Okay, that's good. And I left room so that I could uh, ease it up. So that's good. So let's do a little stitch here. Let's Okay, 
And I'm going to bring up the bobbin thread and clip it so it doesn't follow me. There we are. And I'll clip all these threads. All right. Now I basted this section. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift it down and baste some more until I get to the other end. And then I'm going to tack down the side again. Okay, as far as I can go, which is pretty far. All right, let's do that. I hope this is helping you understand um, the process of uh, floating. Just to give you an idea of how I, how I did this, um, how I set it up, I use zippers on my uh, leader cloths. And what I did is zip the other half of the zipper onto my backing and, um, you know, centering it on there. And then my center mark is already on my leader cloth. So I put this on centered, the leader cloth on centered with the backing centered. And then I laid my batting on centered and my top on centered um, so that I could get to it. And I tacked down the top. That way it's not going anywhere. And I can um, tack down the sides and baste as I can. And then I can quilt and remove the, the basting as I quilt. Um, and it works out really well. It's so far so good. But you can do this with a domestic machine and you can do this with a mid arm, long arm, whatever. The cutie frame makes it so easy to go on and off the frame um, that's the one big thing and the space wise you can't beat it um, so I hope you enjoy using your cutie and I hope this helps you in your quilting journey good luck with your quilts and we'll talk soon thanks for stopping by the closet